welcome everyone to the Virginia Cooperative Extension Plant Clinic. These plant clinics are sponsored by the Virginia Cooperative Extension Program uh, through Virginia's two land grant universities, Virginia Tech and Virginia State. Susan's going to get us started tonight. She's going to talk appropriately about bean beetles, nemesis, nemesis of gardeners <laughs> at any point. So Susan, I'm going to stop talking and turn it over to you. Thank you, Caitlin. So our bug for this plant clinic is the Mexican bean beetle. Per its name, uh, this bug is native to Mexico, but it also would have its most states east of the United States. It's in the family Coccinellidae, which includes ladybugs, and it actually resembles them as an adult. But this ladybug relative is one of the two species of this family that are not beneficial. The other is called the squash lady beetle. Now, if you grow beans, you are going to experience this pest because beans are host plants for this insect. They love snap and lima beans, and they'll also live on cow pea, black eyed pea, and soybeans. Mung, adzuki, velvet bean, alfalfa, and clover, oddly enough, are also at risk. The adult beetle overwinters, and when the, the weather warms, they come out and start feeding. And after they fed, then they start laying eggs, and they will lay up to 500 to 6 hundred bright yellow eggs, which they lay in clusters. These larvae, depending on the weather, the warmer it is, the faster they'll hatch. They can hatch up to a week later after being laid. And once they hatch, they're really aggressive feeders and they'll feed in mass and they can do a lot of damage really quickly. They're such voracious feeders that if the leaf is dry, they'll eat on the unhatched eggs. So they don't let anything stand in the way of their jaws. Once the larva pupates, it fastens its end of the abdomen and wiggles forward out of its skin, leaving that skin till it's attached with only the tip of the abdomen in the skin. And this stage lasts about five to 10 days. I think I've caught a few at that stage. And, but once they get past that stage, they're adults. As an adult, they resemble ladybugs, but their color is different. It's orange to copper. And one way of telling them is they have 16 black spots on their back in three distinct rows of six, six, and four. Now, it's really hard to miss the damage that these bugs do. They pretty much eat every bit of the bean plant, the leaves, the flowers, the pods. The larva is the most destructive of the life cycle. These larvae cling to the bottom of the leaf and they eat like crazy to the point where they totally skeletonize the leaf. And that can really impact your harvest, your yield. How to protect yourself. One way to do it is with row covers. If you put those row covers down when you plant your plants, then those lady, the adult bugs cannot get to the plant to lay their eggs. Another way to manage them, especially in a small garden, is just to pick everything off. So lift the leaf, look up underneath, kill anything you find, crush the egg, crush the larva, crush the, the bug if you can get it. You could use beneficial insects. There are a lot of natural beneficial insects, but there's a wasp you could buy, but that's really not great for a small garden. That's really for a much larger area. If you need to use insecticides, you can use spinosad, neem, or pyrethrum. One of your best management tools really is the good cultural practice of pulling out all infected plants and destroying them. Don't compost them. Don't let them lay on the soil. Get rid of them because you don't want to give that adult anywhere to live over the winter and allow them to come and start their cycle all over again next season. So here are a few resources I used, and I hope you don't find this pest on your beans, but if you have beans, you will probably find this pest. Caitlin? Thanks, Susan. It's all really great information that all of us can use and some good cultural practices for just about any garden pest that you see as well. We have been talking throughout the season about garden journaling. And this can help you track what works in your garden, what doesn't, what insects you're seeing at what time of year, weather patterns, diseases, you know, what, what you know, went bonkers. We were just talking before the clinic about, you know, how last year some people had a great year for peppers and terrible tomatoes and others had the opposite experience. So making note of those things is gonna help you just be a better, more observant gardener. This week, some important things to note, we've had a really dry period. It's not been quite so hot the last couple of days, but it's been really dry. What have you planted this year and how's it doing? 
And were there any spring crops, early spring crops, like lettuces and arugula and things like that, that you've pulled out? And do you have a plan to replace those with later season vegetables to take their space? And, you know, every gardener's bane are weeds. How are those doing in your garden and, and how much pressure are you under? Consider taking notes. You don't have to like write, you know, extensive diary entries every day, but it's just a nice way to observe what's happening in your garden. And to find lots and lots of additional resources, including articles and recommendations and, and things like that, you can visit fairfaxgardening.org. And then we have been recording all these plant clinics and we started hosting them during the summer of the pandemic, summer 2020, and all of these recordings are available on YouTube. So if you have a question about anything, I bet you can find a video uh, that answers that question for you. In addition to the virtual plant clinic presentations, you'll also see our lunch and lawn series about turf care and winterizing your lawn, as well as our zone seven garden series from the past two years. So like I said, tons of great information on our YouTube site. So again, I just wanna thank all of you for attending tonight um, for your questions. Thank you so much. We hope to see you again soon.